What up, what up, everybody? Welcome back to another MX Bikes video. Uh, we are going to be checking out one of my favorite tracks that I've been playing recently. This place is sick. It is called Mouse Moto Park, made by Mouse. We got Mouse Tracks right here. And this place is awesome. It's got some pretty rough sections. You got a, some big jumps out here. It's a cool track. So I'm gonna hop into this thing. I'm gonna try and put down a clean lap. We'll see if I can make it happen or not. But uh, that's my goal, really. I mean, always my goal is to put down a clean lap, so. This place is cool, man. I've done I've done quite a few laps on this track, so I feel like I have it barely dialed already. Of course, now that I'm making this video, it's gonna it's gonna not go so well. But this place is so sick, dude. It, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> if I was on the track, you can see how rough it is right there. This place is gnarly. All right, let's see if I can get some flow going here. But it's rough. You'll see some bigger jumps later on. You can see getting into these corners, it is, it's not easy. Oh, dude, what am I doing? Starting out rough, I guess this place, uh, well, I don't know if it's real or not, but if it was real, I guess it would be in Canada, considering there are three massive Canadian flags flying over this place. Uh, I'm just gonna assume Mouse, <laughs> who made this track, um, is from Canada. If this place is not real, I'm not sure if this is a replica or not. I don't remember what the description said. Oh my god. I gotta chill out, man. <laughs> I gotta slow down. This first big table coming up right here. Thing is so sick. Into a rough corner that I am gonna blow out. I love how I said, oh yeah, I've ridden this track plenty of times right at the beginning of the video and I cannot even make it through a couple sections without <laughs> Just widen it up. Ugh, this section right here, is, I hit that corner so slow, but I love this loop section. Yeah, that thing is sick. And then when you hit this corner right, which I did not, but when you hit that thing correctly, it's pretty sweet, but you can see the roughness out here. You can triple up. I mean, it's not meant to be a triple, but there's a pretty big bump. Right there after the double and if you just haul ass around the outside corner you can hit that thing and triple up but i will try and do that a little bit later in this video you got a split lane here i prefer this inside line kind of a wall jump table and then right here i am on the factory 250f i think if i was in fourth i could have tripled that that triples a stretch on this bike but you can see this track is just beat up all the way around. I'm not gonna get this table. Super bad corner. Oh no, dude, I, <laughs> I got it. So that's the finish line right there. So the lap starts here. And then this is where I got on the track. But yeah, when I come out here and do laps, I'll get zoned in, I'll get locked in. This is one of those tracks that you can kind of get lost in and it feels super realistic. Like the scaling in this place is sick. There we go, that was pretty sweet. Ooh, all right, all right. This is ripping for me. There we go. Yeah, I'm trying to get zoned in here. Rip a tear off, inside line. Oh, dude, that was kind of surprised myself there. Somehow I saved that. Oh, I'm gonna try inside, I am gonna crash. Oh no. <laughs> Not a clean lap, not a clean lap. Hey, look, it's Lens. Maybe I'll make it onto a track one day. <laughs> I think I've been in a few MX Simulator tracks over the years. Long time ago, but that's not the fast line. Man, this place is sick, dude. It's not the best beginner track, but it is a track to where you can really hone your skills if you're, you know, if you can ride some of the easier tracks and you feel confident out there. I mean, you don't even have to have those the easier tracks dialed, but if you feel fairly confident riding the easier tracks, you, know, you can get around a lap or two with only a couple crashes. Um, 
I think this is a good place to come out to 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 learn to ride rougher tracks. It's not the roughest track for sure, but it's um it's not a cakewalk, I will say. Oh, I'm gonna go over the berm. That is not the proper line. All right, let's see if I can get this triple here. I gotta hit the berm. I think I got it though. Yeah, right there it is. You can see on the outside, there's a big bump. The inside doesn't have that line. This place is so fun, dude. <laughs> it's crazy how good it looks too. You can just, like I said, you can get locked in, hit this thing in fourth. See if we can stretch the triple. Ooh, cased it. Oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so sick. So sick. Oh man, over jump this thing. I'll oh, just drag bar right into the ground. So this is not a clean lap either. So we'll see if the clean lap happens. Whether or not it does happen, this video already has some huge crashes and some some pretty good clips too. But I'm gonna see if I can make it happen. That was another good corner, pretty slow, but I just wanna flow around this place. Again, I'm not a speed demon. I'm not trying to be you know, the fastest at this game. I just like playing this thing and trying to uh, get better at it and flow around the tracks. That's, that's my main goal. I don't care about doing any competitive racing. It's funny because that's how I am in real life too, dude. Like all the years that I grew up racing, I did not love racing. Um, back when I was on 50s and 65s, I mean, this is early to mid 2000s when I was racing a lot. I just didn't like it, dude. Like, I'm, I'm kind of competitive, but not like overly competitive. I won't say. Uh, I guess. I guess I'll say that I'm slightly competitive, uh, especially when I know my ability. But if something's outside my ability. Like, I'm just, I'm just kind of chilling. Uh, I'm not gonna try and, you know, go overboard when it comes to, when it comes to riding. That was just, I don't know. I just, I felt like I knew my comfort zone and I stayed within it. Mm. Even when you screw up, those loops are pretty forgiving. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> so you can kind of land on the inside there. Dude, I'm kind of shredding right now. Let's see if I can get this. No, I just overjumped that. There's no way I'm going to get this triple this lap. Still clean, though. On the table. Yeah, this track is so fun. I shouldn't have shifted up so early there. That's not a completely clean lap, but that's still pretty solid. Try and do one clean one here. Yeah, but as I was saying, I mean, I, I had fun racing, but mainly because I really enjoyed hanging out with the other kids. Um, but yeah, I just always preferred just riding. Now going to motocross tracks was fun. I like riding motocross tracks, but I just really didn't like the racing aspect of it. Mainly because I was scared to get hurt. Now of course I know that I can get hurt riding within my comfort zone, but I always felt like as long as I was in control of the bike, for the most part, um, that I was going to be fine. And so far it's worked that way. I mean, I've really only had one injury. I've hit my head a couple times. Um, I've had some smaller little bumps and bruises, but as far as like anything broken, I don't think, I don't think I've broken anything other than maybe cracking my collarbone. Um, there were several things when I crashed, I landed right on it. I high sided in a roller section, just doing a second warm up lap to learn the track. Um, I was going through a roller section pretty slow actually, uh, which is funny, but I'm talking about my comfort zone and I crashed just doing, doing a sight lap. Um, but yeah, I high sided and I hit my head really good. I hit my head so bad that uh, my vision kind of went like really blurry and I had to have my dad help me back to the trailer. Um, so I think I might have been con concussed there. 
And then as far as my collarbone went, I remember when I crashed, I grabbed the collarbone area, like my, my upper left shoulder. And um, like I knew that I had hurt something there, but with the adrenaline, I wasn't quite sure what it was. And then when I got home, it was super swollen. And it hurt to even like put a sock on my foot. But I didn't go to the doctor or the hospital or anything because I was like, ah, it's fine. Like, it's not that bad. So I don't really know if I cracked it. There was also a little bit of nerve damage as well. Like, my upper, my upper left arm was numb. I remember I could pinch that thing and I would feel nothing. So I think I might have cracked it and it might have, you know, pinched a nerve, you know, until it healed up and then that feeling came back in my arm. So, yeah, I don't know if, if, if I broke anything there. But other than that, dude, like, I pretty much been injury free and if you guys have seen any of my videos of me riding which there aren't many out there but if you have seen any of those like you'll know that I'm not horrible like I'll, I'll post one in the, in the description of this video like that way you guys can check it out but um, yeah I, I don't know I've just been I've been pretty successful keeping it within my limits and that's not to say that I won't push myself a little bit. Like, if there's a jump that's a little bit bigger, but I'm like, oh, I got that. Like, you know, I'll, I'll jump it, but I don't go crazy overboard with it. Because similar to this game, like I've never cared to be the best motocross racer. Like I didn't want to go pro when I was young. That wasn't my dream. I just had fun riding my dirt bike and I had fun riding my dirt bike within my limits. So that's kind of how I am with these games. If that makes sense, like I don't care about being the fastest guy at MX bikes. I just want to ride at my level and have fun with it and flow around. And I'll just naturally get better. That's how I looked at motocross in, in real life. I mean, that's how I still look at it. Like, just riding the bike, you're gonna get better without even really trying. Now, if you try, you can speed that process up, but I don't have any reason to try because I don't care about racing. <laughs> like, it's just, it's just not anything that I care about at this point in my life, so. I am gonna get back on the bike, though. Uh, my plan is to um, hopefully get a little bit, bit of suspension work done because my bike needs it. And um, hopefully, you know, later this winter, maybe around February, March when things begin to warm up a little bit here in North Carolina. Even though we do get some really nice riding weather in the winter, um, hopefully a little bit later, February, March, things might heat up a little bit. Anyway, I want to get back on the bike and I'm going to make some videos of it as well. So, oh man, look at that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last lap. This is going to be a smooth one. <laughs> Just a complete lap. I say smooth, but I just want a lap that doesn't have any crashes or any crazy mistakes. Like no off-track moments. Man, that rut is good when you hit it right. This section right here can get pretty rough, especially when you've got a full lobby out here. We've done some full races on this track, and <laughs> this place gets rough. It's fun though. Like it, it does break down pretty nice. I mean, it gets rough, but I mean, it's a motocross track. Like that's <laughs> that's what it's supposed to do. But I think it has good roughness built in. Like it's not anything too crazy, and it looks amazing. This track looks so good. I just got a new monitor for Christmas, so um, this game has been looking extra good in it. Oh no, crashing, crashing. Does that count as on track? <laughs> I'm gonna count it as on track. I think I was either just on the outside or right over top of that yellow stake. Oh, that's off track. Oh my God. 
I don't think I've screwed up this section yet. <laughs> That's how it goes, though. I'm gonna finish this lap out. Let's see if uh, I can finish it out cleanly. Oh my god, getting sketchy already. Not bad, though. I've done worse. Oh, man. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, not going to finish it out clean. No, oh, there's my ghost. <laughs> Riding with the ghost is pretty fun. All right, let's go outside here. That was super slow. And that was bad. Didn't get over the table all the way. Yeah, not gonna hit this triple here. Things are stretched, dude. That thing is it's doable, but that's a big jump. Oh, that's a crash. Oh, somehow it did not crash. <laughs> yeah, nice and clean over the table. Thank you guys so much for checking this video out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll catch you guys all again in the next video.